Whatsoever is in the heavens and whatsoever is on the earth glorifies Allah, the King, the Holy, the Almighty, the All-Wise. He it is who sent among the unlettered ones a messenger from among themselves, reciting to them his verses, purifying them and teaching them the Qur'an and wisdom, the four functions of prophethood, recitation of the verses and purification. It's not just about the knowledge we have, it's about how far we've purified ourselves. And teaching them the Qur'an and Sunnah, wisdom. And indeed, before this, they had been in manifest error. He has sent him to others among them who have not yet joined them. And this is a reference to later generations of Muslims, amongst which we also come. وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ hakim And he is the Almighty, the All-Wise. This is the grace of Allah. This Islam, this knowledge, it's a gift. It's an awesome gift, which he bestows on whom he wills. The Prophet ﷺ told us, None except two men only may be envied. A man to whom Allah has given wealth which he spends in a good cause, and a man to whom Allah has given wisdom which he teaches to others and by which he judges between people. Wallahu dhul fadlil azim. And Allah is the owner of mighty grace. Is it simply knowledge? No. The likeness of those who were entrusted with the Torah but who subsequently failed in those obligations is as the likeness of a donkey which carries huge burdens of books. Now let's think about our knowledge. Are we acting upon the knowledge we possess? Or is it simply knowledge that glibly we recite ayat? Someone asks me for tafsir, I say, yes, this is exactly what it means. But there's no amal in my life. Ilm and amal go together in Islam. And if there is ilm and no amal, then that ilm becomes a hujjat against that person. Look, Allah says that the Jews had loads of knowledge, but when they didn't act upon it, they were like a donkey which carries books but isn't acting upon it. Obviously, the donkey doesn't know what he's carrying. He's just carrying those books. People are using those books, but he doesn't know what's in them. And Allah says, how evil is the example of people who deny the signs of Allah. And Allah does not guide the people who are wrongdoers. Say, O oh you who have become Jews, if you pretend that you are friends of Allah to the exclusion of all the rest of mankind, fatamanna wal mouth. Then long for death if you are truthful. When we claim, O oh Allah knows how much I love him, then that means we should be prepared to die any minute. But they will never long for death because of the deeds their hands have sent before them. And Allah knows well the wrongdoers. Tell them, indeed the death from which you flee will surely meet you. Then you will be sent back to Allah, the all-knower of the unseen and the seen, and He will tell you of what you used to do. O oh, you who have Iman, when the call is proclaimed for the Salat on Friday, come to the remembrance of Allah and leave of business. And we find women standing in the shop, delaying the shopkeepers, no, no, wait, just two minutes, show me that cloth and then you can go for your Jum'ah. Allah says, leave off everything and go to the remembrance of Allah. That is better for you if you did but know. Then when the Salat is ended, you may disperse through the land and seek the bounty of Allah, who was Qurullah Kathira. And remember Allah much. This flexibility of Islam, Allah doesn't say that you have to rest the whole day. No, after Juma prayers, you can go back to trade. But remember Allah much, even in the midst of your business. لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ That you may be successful. And when they see some merchandise, some trade or some amusement, they disperse headlong to it and leave you standing. This refers to what happened that this trading caravan from Syria came during the Prophet ﷺ's khutbah. Now these were the early days of Islam. Food was scarce in Medina. So what happened was that when people heard the caravans, drums, etc., they all fled except for 12 men and 7 women that were left behind. And the Prophet ﷺ said, had you all gone, the whole valley would have flowed with fire. Now let's apply to ourselves. We hear the azan. Maybe we're playing a computer game. Maybe we're watching television. Maybe just reading a book or just killing time or talking to our friend on the phone. Allah says, when they see some trade or some amusement, they disperse headlong to it. Oh, I've got five minutes more and then I'll close my shop and go for my maghrib prayers. Allah says, قُلْ مَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ خَيْرٌ مِنَ اللَّهُوِ وَمِنَ التِّجَارَةِ whether it's your business that you're engrossed in or some idle amusement, what is with Allah is far better. Wallahu khairul raziqeen. And Allah is the best of providers. Turn to Allah. He's never far away. Put your trust in Him. Raise your hands and pray. 
Oh yeah, Allah Guide my steps, don't let me go astray You're the only one who can show me the way Show me the way Show me the way Show me the way Inshallah